In this video, I am going to be revealing three secrets of trading breakouts like a pro. But before we start, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So first, let's understand what are breakouts. Breakouts are nothing but events on the price chart when the price moves from a sideways market to a trending market. The markets move in waves. So, they move in a trend for some time, and then they consolidate in a sideways trend for some time before resuming in a trend again. So, if we can successfully identify a price consolidation, we can catch the next trending move. If the price breaks above the consolidation pattern, we will buy. And if the price breaks below the pattern, we will sell. All of this looks simple in theory. But the truth is that before an actual breakout, the price gives a lot of fake breakouts. These fake breakouts are popularly known as fakeouts. A fakeout occurs when the price breaks a consolidation pattern for one or two candles, only to return back into the consolidation once again. These fakeouts can be detrimental to your trading success and can lead you to huge losses. Therefore, here are some secrets that can help you to avoid false breakouts and identify strong breakouts. Secret number one. Look for an accumulation before a breakout. When the price wants to break out of a consolidation pattern, it requires a strong force of buyers or sellers. The price cannot break out without a strong force and momentum. So, oftentimes, we see that the price moves sideways inside the consolidation pattern. This signals that buyers or sellers are accumulating the stock at that price. These people are strong market participants. Therefore, they are capable of driving the price beyond the range. So, whenever we spot an accumulation prior to a breakout, this is a strong signal of a real breakout. For instance, on this chart, we created this rising wedge pattern. This is nothing but a consolidation pattern. So, we will look to trade breakouts from this pattern. In this area, we see that the price creates a sideways pattern inside the consolidation pattern. This is an accumulation. At this point, we don't know who is accumulating the shares. Is it the buyers or the sellers? But when the price breaks below the wedge, we can confirm that it was the sellers who accumulated the share. So we will sell here because this breakout is a strong breakout. Look at the parabolic move that followed after our entry. Hence, if we spot an accumulation before a breakout, the breakout is most probably real. Secret number two. Trend Direction Whenever we trade in the direction of a long-term trend, we automatically gain an edge over the market. In other words, trading in the direction of the long-term trend gives us higher probabilities of profit than trading against the trend. Therefore, whenever we spot a consolidation pattern, we should identify the long-term direction of the trend. Then, we should take the breakout trade only if it is in the direction of the trend. To identify the trend, we can either look at the price action, or we can use a 200 period EMA. I personally like the 200 EMA. If the price is above the 200 EMA, I look for upwards breakouts, and if the price is below the 200 EMA, I look for downwards breakouts. For example, in this image, we see that the price of the asset trading below the 200 EMA. This means that the stock is in a downtrend. Therefore, we will be looking at selling opportunities only. Then, we spot this downwards channel pattern develop. Now, we know that the price is in a downtrend. So, if the price breaks above this pattern, there is a high probability that the sellers will push the price back into the range. On the other hand, an upwards breakout could also lead to a trend reversal. But the probabilities are very less. We as a trader want probabilities in our favor, so we will not trade any breakouts above the pattern. 
Here we see that the price breaks below the consolidation pattern. So this is a great selling opportunity for us. We sell here and we made a huge profit on our trade. On this chart, we see that the price was trading above the 200 period EMA. So we can say that the price is in an uptrend. Therefore, in an uptrend we will look for buying trades only. Here, we spot a triangle pattern by drawing these two trend lines. If the price breaks below the pattern, we will not take a sell trade, because that would be trading against the trend. In this case, the price breaks above the pattern, so we take a buy position, and we made profits on this trade. Secret number three. RSI confirmation at breakouts. You can combine indicators with price action theory to create winning systems. One such example is using RSI to confirm breakouts. RSI is simply a short form for relative strength index. RSI is a simple oscillator that show whether the current price of the asset is expensive or cheap compared to recent price action. In other words, it shows the momentum of the price action. The value of the RSI revolves from 0 to 100. There are a lot of different ways of interpreting the RSI indicator. By default the RSI is set to a 14 candle look back period in 80, 20 levels of overbought and oversold levels. The only change that we make to the RSI is, we will change the overbought level to 60, and we will change the oversold level to 40. The logic behind this strategy is that, if the RSI is above 60, it indicates a bullish momentum. And, when the RSI goes below 40, it indicates a bearish momentum. Now, whenever the price gives a break above a consolidation pattern, we want the RSI to be above 60 on that breakout candle. On the other hand, when the price breaks below a consolidation pattern, we want the RSI to be below 40 on the breakout candle. So, here is an example. Here we spotted this falling channel pattern. Now, on this candle, the price breaks above the channel pattern. And on the same candle, we see that the RSI breaks above the 60 level. So, this is a strong buy signal. There is a confluence of a breakout and the RSI. Therefore, we can buy here. And as you can see, the price gave a strong up move after our entry. Now, let's look at a sell trade. Here, we see that the price created this massive consolidation pattern for almost 4 months on the Euro-USD pair. Then, on this candle it finally breaks below the support level. On the same candle, we see that the RSI goes below the 40 level. The RSI is a confirmation that there is bearish pressure behind the breakout of the pattern. So, we sell on this candle. And, the breakout turned to be true as the price made a strong downwards move. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. See you soon.